How does climate influence diseases? It, it actually has a major um, uh, impact, particularly when we talk about weather patterns on disease development in, in small grains. Uh, the main driving force when you get into diseases in most any crop, but particularly small grains, is rain. We're most concerned with diseases that develop during the spring growth phase. So usually during that time frame, if it is a little warmer, we tend to have more foliar and soil disease activity than we might if the conditions are cold. If it is cooler, you would expect to see less overall disease activity, but it's that combination with rain that, that really makes a difference. Well, uh, we uh, worry about uh, climate as far as weed and insects go because uh, insects, of course, uh, growth and development is determined by temperature. And, and humidity and, and climate conditions. Cooler conditions, the insects may not develop as quickly, but under warm conditions, you may get extra generations and more development of the insects, thereby causing more damage to the wheat crop. So in, in preparation for fall planting, uh, as far as insect control is concerned, they need to make some decisions about variety selection, and selecting a variety that has good hessian fly resistance in their area but is also well adapted to their area. Climatic conditions affect wheat uh, like every other crop. Uh, the temperature and precipitation during the growing season has a tremendous uh, effect on wheat. When we have a warmer season in the fall and a warmer season in the springtime, we get a highest grain yield. We do recommend that uh, farmers grow about three different varieties. We also recommend that they plant the late maturing varieties first and the early maturing varieties last. Variety selection is a very important management tool because 60% of the yield is due to the variety that you select. 